We're now going to look at utilizing object snaps in AutoCAD 2010. Now, object snaps allow you to snap to particular parts of particular objects. So, for example, a line, you could snap to the two endpoints of a line or the midpoint. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at drawing some lines using object snaps. Now, you'll notice down here O snap on the status bar is already switched on. I'm going to right click over it and check what object snap snessings I actually have switched on. So you can see there endpoint is switched on, midpoint is off, center is on, node is on, quadrant is off, for example. I can also go to the settings option here on the shortcut menu and tick the boxes if I need to. So a ticked box indicates that the running object snap mode is on. Click on OK there once you've set those settings and those settings will now stay on until you change them the next time around. Now we're going to use the line command first of all to utilize our object snaps and we're going to use the end point snap. I'm also going to zoom in on this end here like so. You can zoom in and zoom out using the wheel on your mouse. Now I'm going to go to the line command here and I'm going to draw a line from this end point snap here, left click to this endpoint snap here, left click. You can see them highlight and the word endpoint appears on the dynamic input there. There's my line, enter to finish. I'm going to do the same again three more times. Just watch the screen. I click on the line command, I click on the endpoint snap, I click on the endpoint snap, enter to finish. Same process again, line command, endpoint snap, endpoint snap, enter line command, endpoint snap, endpoint snap, enter. What I'm now going to do is roll back on the wheel mouse a little bit and then I'm going to hold the wheel down on the mouse and drag. See the hand appear? That is your real-time pan. It's also available down here on the status bar. Now what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to utilize what they call an override snap. Now this is created by bringing up the override snap menu by holding down the shift key and right clicking on the mouse you can either do it when you're not in a command hold down shift and right click there are my override snaps I hit escape there on the keyboard to switch that menu off now what I'm going to do I'm going to utilize my midpoint snap which is currently not switched on in my running object snap modes so if I go to the line command and click on this endpoint snap here as the first point of my line. I now want to create an arrowhead by going to the midpoint of this vertical line here. Can you see the crosshair crossing it? And each time I cross the crosshair I'm getting an endpoint snap depending on which end I go towards. Can you see that? I want the midpoint snap so while I'm in the middle of the line command I hold down the shift key on the keyboard and keep it held down. I then right click on the mouse and it brings up my override snaps. Now these override the running object snaps that are already running with the object snap button switched on. So I'm going to select midpoint from the menu there and left click on it. And then I'm going to go to that midpoint there. Notice the midpoint appears this time. Left click. And then I don't need to worry about another override snap now because endpoint snap is switched on in my running object snaps. I go to the endpoint there, left click, enter to finish, and there's my arrowhead. So if I zoom out now, you can see that I'm completing my shape there by utilizing my object snaps, my running object snaps and my override object snaps.